project I'm going to do, you're probably looking at me like, what's he doing now? But the title of the video will obviously give it away. But if you look at pellet grills and gas grills, they usually get a really bad rep. You always hear a pellet grill is an easy bake oven. So I hate to imagine what most people call a gas grill. Maybe an easier bake oven. Um, but I'm going to make an argument. I'm not going to use a pellet grill. I'm not going to use a Weber Smoky Mountain. I am not going to use a uh, stick burner. I am not going to use a gas smoker nor an electric one. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go back to our gas grill, my charboil four burner. And what am I going to do as a name of this said? I got my tri tip here. And I'm going to put a little smoke on it and a little sear. And I'm going to see what we can do with a gas grill. So what's all this nonsense? My benzene torch to do what? I'm going to use an amazing smoke pellet tube. This one's supposed to go for, I don't know, about four hours, this older one. New ones are kind of more oval, so I'm going to light that up. I also have, what, a chip box. This one's cast iron. It's full of hickory chips. So price points of these, if you got a gas grill, you want to get it smoking, I think these run at about 20 bucks on Amazon, take or give. Um, chip box like this, I think I picked up this one up for nine, ten bucks. Now that's a big complaint about pellet grills, not enough smoke, so argument with gas grill too. I'm going to open up my tri-tip. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to use a little Weber Chicago steak seasoning. But first, I'm going to use, I can't believe it, not butter spray as a binder. So I'm going to do this. This is simple, obviously. Let's get this guy out of here. Well, I said it was simple, but this is some great vacuum packing. So some of you might be saying, why is he not using one of his smokers? Well, here's my argument. I, I'm personally tired of the pellet debate, tired of the comments. And, you know, those of you that watch my videos, you know I have an offset, you know I have a Weber Smoky Mountain. The list goes on. So I want to prove to people, and I'm going to use a tri-tip because why, if I can get it out of here. Man, some good vacuum sealing. So there it is. Because it's kind of a trendy piece of meat, I'm going to throw this for you. Anyhow, it's a trendy piece of meat, and some people love it, some people don't, and it's not super thick, and I'm going to cook it to about a medium rare rare. I'm just looking at the grain on this one. Uh, Tri-tip two cutting it, it should be this way and then this little tip end here, I'm gonna have to go ch -ch -ch. But it'll be pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna cook it I think probably to medium rare and then I'm gonna sear it or even a little rare so it won't take me that long. I'm thinking hour two tops, start finished. So we'll do at a typical smoking temp. I'll try to get my grill down to 225, 250. We'll smoke it up till it gets about medium rare, put a sear on it, we should be sitting roughly at medium. So my argument doing this is I want to do that, I'm gonna try this for you. And I'm gonna actually try more with the gas grill. And some of you again are saying, why? You have smokers. It's like, here's my argument. As, as I said, I'm I'm kind of tired of the debate, the easy bake oven stuff, even though I, I do a bunch of other stuff. And I mean I do like traditional. Definitely wood, all that. It's cool. It's awesome. Problem with it's time-consuming. Problem with smokers, most of them time-consuming. Takes a while to set up. And some of you are like, well, what's your difference with your grill? Well, you'll see when I bring this outside. My argument to you is all I have to do is basically pull my grill grain out, set temp, and then you're like, well, why is that any different than a smoker? Well, if I'm using a gas smoker, I'm carrying out. I'm uncovered if I'm using it. My gas smoker is not the most usually friendly thing. It's kind of hard to gauge temp. And the other problem, eh, we're almost out. The other problem I have is I still got to uncover it. I still got to carry it out where it's sitting in my gas grill, constantly sits outside cover. So arguably, this should be easier than some of you. We got a smoke tube and you got a chip box. Yeah, I get that. But if I'm running a stick burner, it's a lot harder too. And my argument to you is, I don't know, do you need a smoker or can you get by with $30 of, go find a torch. 
50 bucks um, some 50 bucks and use a gas grill I don't know we're gonna find out so I'm gonna take this outside I'm gonna get this set up and I'll be right back and we'll see you out there all right everyone I'm outside I'm gonna show you my setup got a thermal pro temperature thermometer there as you can see I got my chip box right between the two burners I'm gonna put my plate back in <clears throat> So you can see that basically we got a Thermopro thermometer hookup. I'm going to run that. I'm going to get the grill going. Of course we also need to do what? Of course I don't want to do that. Um, we also need to light the amazing smoke tube. So I got my grill grates back on there. Show you that. I'm going to put my tri-tip over here. This is a four burner. So we're going to light these two up. We're going to stick the tri-tip where? We're as far as over here as we can. So what are we setting up? Indirect heat. So unfortunately, I need kind of two hands to probably light my amazing smoke tube. And I'm just going to throw it on the grill. Maybe I can pull this off. I'm just going to sit over here <clears throat> at the part where I don't care. Oh, I got fire. So light this puppy up. Helps to have the gas going right. I go figure I'm running out of gas, but all right, we got a little burn. You can see that? That's what I want. I'm gonna let that burn for a little while. Get those guys good and smoking. So, in the meantime, I need to remember to get more propane, but we should probably get this grill going. I always like a little oil. I'm gonna do that. I probably like my oil too much. And it's gonna knock that down with a paper towel. Grill grates aren't beautiful. I should have cleaned them, but you can see that. I made a mistake of this. I like to light these guys on end like that. And some people will how you tip them over. Well, I'm just going to take a tongs and set it down. So I'm going to fire this guy up. So we got flame. And we got flame. You can see that. And obviously I don't want to incinerate my chips, so I'm going to start at low right away, roughly. We're going to play the game with a the thermometer. Uh, and made a little mistake there. And I don't want to do that. But, you know what? Probably smoking good enough. I really like to have these things burn a little longer. I tipped it over when I was trying to move it. Doing two things at once is kind of difficult. So my problem is it's going to hit my little rack. So I'll get that in there. You can see that going. You can see we got that going. See the flame there. And that burner's flaming. So shut this guy down. Yep, did what we wanted to, didn't knock him over. So, I'm going to let that cook and people are like, oh, you got too much heat. I'm not worried about it. We'll let this thing climb. I'm going to grab my tri-tip and I'm going to kick that over. But you kind of get the setup here. So, you can see my Therm Pro is climbing to 79 degrees. So, I want to get that going. I want to get this set up to about 250. Knock my amazing smoke tube over. Then I'll bring my tri-tip. So again, recap and setup here. I just got a four burner char broil grill. I'm gonna get it about 250, use an indirect heat. Might have to go down to one burner. I'll stick my tri-tip in the far end. I'd say you could do this with any gas grill, as long as it's a two burner, because you want indirect heat. 
a uh, little cue probably would be difficult but anything like that so here's my setup I'll come back and I'll show you when it's smoking and I got the everything laid out and I got my tri-tip on then we'll wait a couple hours and I'll give you the results we'll cut the tri-tip and we'll see what we came up with all right be back in a little bit
everybody, here is the tri-tip sitting here that we did what? Was cooked on a gas grill using an amazing smoke tube for smoker and a chip box. Chip box was a failure. Didn't take off until I kicked it on sear mode. So, but it's been resting for about five minutes. So I really wanted to make a point that you can actually smoke and make really good stuff on a gas grill. So before I cut it, I'm going to give you a visual one more time. And I'm going to give you a visual after I cut it too, but it's been about five minutes, so I'm going to cut it. Hopefully I'm not cutting my own head off here, but... So I'm just going to take a knife. And of course, tri-tip, we want to cut against the grain. So my grain is going pretty much this way. This one's kind of different. Usually they're a little angle, but... Heck, let's cut the small part first. And I'm going to end up with a really nice medium, which is kind of shooting for that. And of course, we want to cut with a grain, so I'm going to move over a little bit here on the, once I get past this end piece. Or against the grain is what I meant. I don't know if I said with, but... Tell you what, boys and girls, if you could smell this thing, not to boast, but it smells awesome. And I'm going to give you a visual here and just as soon as I get this cut, but it is beautiful, juicy. And hopefully it don't run off the counter. So we got about a medium, she's a little bit over, but I think she's going to be very good. Here's our end results. So as you can see, really juicy, smells really awesome. We reverse seared it, we got a little bark out of this. Um, I think it's going to be great. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put, well, I'm just going to do it this way. There ain't really much to say. I'll throw some other posts of pictures on Instagram. I'll put this video together. And remember, this is all a gas grill. So, hope you enjoy this video. I know there's kind of a little bit of struggling with my torch and everything. But, experiment. And I think the gas grill did a great job. And we'll see how it tastes. But, more videos come. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you all.